Did you hear that? My stomach is growling. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, how about we go to that place we went to last time with Yang Yang and Chisha? I love their food so much. food right in front of you. Aren't you gonna try any? Well, if you're not interested, I'll gobble it all up. <laughs> hmm. You've been absent-minded the whole day. Still bothered by that dream from last night? Wait, so you had a dream about the Sentinel? Like the one from your flashback when we saw the sentinel statue after you lost your memory? <laughs> Hang on, so let me get this straight. The sentinel swooshed you off to a mountain shaped like a dragon. And then there were all these bad things going on with lots and lots of tacit discords. But the sentinel saved the day. How exactly did it protect everyone again? Oh, in your dream it made the time different there. Yeah. The time in the mountains seemed to have slowed down from the outside. Away from the tacit discords. The sentinel must have created a barrier by manipulating the flow of time keeping those monsters out. It was a safe haven from all the disturbances caused by the tacit discords, where people lived peacefully. Also, in my dream, I wasn't affected by the slow time and could freely move in and out of the barrier. It's no shock that you have awesome powers being friends with me. Uh, what was that place you dreamed about called? I'm not entirely sure I heard it correctly. But in my dream, the Sentinel mentioned a place called Mount Firmament. Mount Firmament? Never heard of it. You've never heard of Mount Firmament? And I'm sure you're not from around here. Hold on! Did you just say Mount Firmament? Oh my! Did that Echo just talk? Come on, man, relax. You don't hear an Echo talking every day, but it's not that uncommon either. I heard there's a country called Re... Uh, Rhinus... What? Anyway, the Echoes there are next level. Oh, you're not from around here? <laughs> well, that explains why you don't know about Mount Firmament. Legends say Mount Firmament is where the first people of Jinjo live. It looks like a giant statue of our sentinel Zhue. I've never actually heard of anyone going to that place. They say those who try either get lost in the sea mist or never come back. If you're curious, just head southeast. 
Mount Firmament is on the east side of Whining Ix's Mire, and you can see it from a distance. The South East. The past few days, especially this morning, I caught this unique smell from the Southeast, from that mountain they just mentioned. It's like a strong energy pulsing through the air, but I can't quite put my finger on it. It feels kind of weird, though. Doesn't smell natural. Could it have anything to do with what you said? A place where time passes slowly? Hmm. Do you want to go check it out? I had a flashback about seeing their sentinel. Perhaps that happened on Mount Firmament. I can feel an unknown force guiding me, urging me to go there and find something. Jinchi said she'll go search for the sentinel and update me on its whereabouts. So far, I've not heard anything from the City Hall yet. Then shall we go check it out together? It feels really suspicious. Abby? Are you getting sleepy again? Let me uh, take a quick nap, all right? I've got keen ears. If anything goes down, just give me a holler and I'll, I'll be... I'll be up in a jiffy, I swear. Greetings, Rover. What can I help you with today? I regret to inform you that Madame Magistrate is not in the City Hall. She has left for Mount Firmament. In fact, we have not heard back from her for days. Unfortunately, no. Please keep this confidential. The situation in Jinzhou is still unstable after our battle with the Thrinodian. We must limit discussion of the Magistrate's whereabouts to a select few. When we captured Scar, he claimed that the Praxidus had imprisoned our Sentinel. It was around the same time that Madame Magistrate lost track of Sentinel Jue. If our Sentinel is truly in danger, or if someone with malicious intent obtains this information, the potential consequences could be as catastrophic as the previous Thronodian invasion. In order to investigate the Sentinel's whereabouts, Madame Magistrate has left for Mount Firmament, its last recorded location. Madame Magistrate traveled to Mount Firmament alone. The looming threat of the Thronodian discouraged any additional diversion of human resources. Furthermore, when it comes to the Sentinel, force is not a viable solution. Madam Magistrate trusts you. It is beyond my authorization to meddle in your decisions. However, the landscape around Mount Firmament is complex. One must be accompanied by a special wayfinder to navigate safely. That's all I know.
Currently, she's likely at the ferry terminal in Whining Ix's mire. I'll reach out to her. To learn more about Mount Firmament, you can meet her at the ferry. I lack the same level of understanding of the situation there as she does. I trust Madam Magistrate's decisions. I will do my utmost to handle the public matters on her behalf while she is away. I just... This worry about her safety won't leave me. In her last video message, I could tell she seemed weaker than usual, despite her efforts to maintain composure. Madam Magistrate's situation might not be optimistic. Rover, Mount Firmament is a dangerous place. Please take care. I have sent the coordinates to your terminal. Thank you for your kind help. I pray you will both return safely. I'm listening! Hey, did you notice how the mountain has a strangely pleasant smell? Hmm, it doesn't look edible though. Not that I'm hungry or anything. I just tend to doze off easily. Feels like my body can only process what I consume while sleeping. And don't worry. If there's any danger coming your way, I'll wake up like clockwork. Just like last time. Well, unless there's nothing that can even remotely challenge you. In that case, I probably won't wake up. Let's head to the ferry. Hmm. Mount Firmament. Our Wayfinder should have plenty information to share. Are you trapped here by the rain? No need for thanks. We're about to embark on a journey together, Rover. I am Chun Li, your Wayfinder. Don't worry, the rain won't last much longer. Our destination lies just beyond it. Rover, what do you know about Mount Firmament? There is a certain folk tale. Have you heard of it? While hiking in the mountains, a woodcutter came upon two people playing Weichi and became enthralled with their game. Upon his return home, he found a world transformed. Everything was different. 
as if in a new reality. That mountain was a secret realm where time worked differently. The woodcutter only spent half a day inside, but outside, a century had passed. Mount Firmament is such a place. But unlike this folk tale, there is a price to pay for entering and exiting its grounds. If I spend a full day in the mountains, ten days will be taken off my lifespan upon my leaving, reflecting the actual time that has passed outside. Not to mention, the situation on Mount Firmament right now is probably even more complex than before. The strange time patterns of Mount Firmament are tied to the Sentinel's temporal mandate. Time ebbs and flows at its will. If the Fraxidus really has imprisoned our Sentinel, causing it to lose control of its powers, that could explain the temporal disruptions. Which means Mount Firmament is basically a dead end, with no way out. Lifespan is not the top of my concerns. If you've decided to venture there, I'll join you as your Wayfinder. Jin Shi has stayed on Mount Firmament for too long. She doesn't miss a thing, does she? Before Jinshi left for Mount Firmament, scales began appearing on her body, and her resonance ability was weakening. Those signs pointed to a dire situation for the Sentinel as well. That's why I must lead you there. You might have the key to solving our dilemma. You're here because I invited you. Sanhua was instructed to disclose my whereabouts if you ever went to City Hall and asked about Jin Shi. It's no surprise that you went to City Hall for answers, considering your memory loss and Jin Shi's prolonged absence. I need to tell you the truth, because you've been the top priority, no, the sole concern of our enemy, the Fraxidus. That overseer tried everything to sway you and make you join their side before our battle with the reviving Thranodian. It's a clear sign that your involvement could disrupt their plans, especially at Mount Firmament. Records at the Grand Library Tell a tale of someone who dared to enter Mount Firmament after the Sentinel's descent, and they emerged unscathed, as if time had no hold on them. They were also said to have stood alongside the Sentinel. And here before me stands someone who bears an uncanny resemblance to that very individual. Is it you? If not you, who else could it be? 
It took me some effort to finally reach this conclusion. Rover, the journey ahead is filled with danger at every turn. Once we venture into the mountains, there's no turning back. Are you sure you still want to join me? As your Wayfinder, I'll lead you to your destination. What you do after that is entirely up to you. The rain is subsiding, and the sky will soon clear. It's time for us to head out. We're at the base of Mount Firmament, but we won't enter the temporal barrier until we cross the luminous shore. Shall we proceed? The storm is coming. Some people must be itching to pounce. <laughs> 